Assassin's Creed Unity is introducing to us a full cooperative campaign, but who will we be controlling? So far we know there is a character creation, but we have been introduced to a main assassin, Arno. My name is Stally111 and today we're going to be taking a look at who Arno is and what has happened in his life. Arno Victor Dorian who has no relation to Desmond Miles, was a French-Austrian master assassin active during the French Revolution. As an orphan who blamed himself for the death of his adoptive father, he sought redemption by joining the assassins in 1789 and working to expose the true instigators of the revolution, whilst also avenging him in the process. He was born to his Austrian mother and French father, who were involved in the assassin movement. He was brought up in an upper class home with a noble upbringing, making him well educated. However, in 1776, when Arnold was 8 years old, his father was murdered. He was subsequently adopted by Francois de la Serre, the Grand Master of the French Templars, out of respect for his enemy. Francois raised Arnold alongside his own daughter, Elise. He did not want to corrupt the boy's memory of his biological father and also his past, so he kept his Templar works a secret when around him. The Grand Master died during mysterious circumstances orchestrated by another Templar, which we are sure to find out more about than the game. Arno was sadly framed for his murder. With guilt bearing down upon him, Arno sought out the assassins to find redemption through discovering his adopted father's murder and the motivations leading to his death, as well as to help those suffering injustice. This is where Unity begins, where Arno progresses through trying to gather all the intel together on his father and adoptive father, along with their murderers. With his aim to find redemption, he does help others along the way through the strenuous times during the French Revolution. Being a newcomer to the Assassins, he often misunderstood and questioned their beliefs and typical approach to situations, but he was aided by naturally being stealthy and ruthless. Being well educated, Arnold was witty and charismatic alongside having no nonsense within his agenda. This fed back into his sense of humour which he often fell back on during times of emotional vulnerability. So that's basically Arnold's backstory and a little insight into what he's like. Hopefully you've gained further interest into the game's lore. If you guys want me to have a further sweep of info on him, feel free to tell me down in the comments. Before I go, I'll throw a last bit of trivia. Arnold's name comes from both Germany and France. Its origin meaning is ego power, which could relate to the ego vision that most assassins use within Assassin's Creed. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to drop a like, your comment, and subscribe if you've not done so already. My name is Stanley Olam, and see you guys on the next video.